You're a fool if you're not using salt and pepper. Pity to fool. Do you think that uh, Mr. T has that copyrighted? I think I met Mr. T once too. I don't know, I feel like if that was either a dream or reality, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. T, if we've ever met, please get in touch. Oh my God, Mr. T should come and do a video with us. Wait, I feel like this is, I'm having deja vu so bad right now. I'm gonna stop, okay, we're stopping. Let's go back to the soup here. Hi, I'm Faraday, we're in the Munchies Test Kitchen and today we're making Italian wedding soup. It's that marriage of the greens and the broth and the balls. And it's, despite the name, not something that you usually have at weddings. I've never been to an Italian wedding and had this soup. So this recipe is my mom's. Uh, my mom, Teresa. Shout out, Teresa, what up? I'm gonna start by making the meatballs. So I'm gonna start by just toasting this bread a little bit under the broiler. So just break it up into smaller pieces. If you don't have a food processor, you can just like chop this or pick it all by hand. You want like roughly, I don't know, half a cup or so. I'm just gonna pour a quarter cup of milk over top of the breadcrumbs. Let it sit there and soak five or 10 minutes. And this is just gonna add the moisture and like binding also. I'm gonna add in my ground beef. This is about eight ounces, a half pound. We've got the same amount of ground pork. I've got some grated Parmesan cheese, about a half a cup. And then I'm gonna really finely grate garlic. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt in here, maybe like a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon or so. I'm gonna get in here with my fingers and just mix it up. Can you hear it? The trick when you're rolling balls, so you don't get covered, is dip your little fingies here in the bowl of water. And you're gonna take a little bit of this. And typically with a um, Italian wedding soup, you're gonna do them pretty small. And the balls will shrink a little bit when you cook them. So they're ready to go at this stage, we can start searing them off. So I'm just gonna heat up a little bit of oil, a couple of tablespoons. When I say a couple of tablespoons, I lied and I meant a quarter cup, like so like four tablespoons. A lot of fat is gonna come out of these um, as they cook, but you don't want them to like really stick, so. Give them a little shaky shake. Nice looking balls. I like the little balls, they fit better in my mouth. The bigger ones are a little bit more harder to manage with a soup like this, but the small ones are bite sized, so it's good. Happy? <laughs> Am I getting your ball jokes in there for you people? <laughs> Some of these are sticking a little bit, that's okay. I actually like it when they kind of have little bits floating in there. So yeah, all this, all this good shit in here, that's fine. Okay, so meatballs are ready, they're on the side. I'm gonna add in chicken socks. So about 12 cups of stock into here. You could be using homemade chicken socks, store-bought chicken sock, whatever you like. And I'm gonna add my spinach. So Italian wedding soup, everyone has their own version of it a little bit. Um, traditionally, I think it's more with escarole. I'm gonna use baby spinach. So I'm gonna add this right on into here. And what that's gonna do, I mean, it looks like a shitload of spinach. And it is, it's a pound of spinach. But it's gonna completely wilt down to nothing. Just gently push your spinach into the bath. Ta-da! I'm gonna turn that down. And all that fond, all that goodness that was stuck to the bottom from the meatballs. Stir it, scrape it up from the bottom. And what I'm gonna do now that it's simmering also, is I'm gonna add my meatballs back to the pot. And they're gonna absorb some of the flavor of the chicken stock as they cook a little bit more, and then they're also gonna flavor the broth. I'm gonna just gonna add a little bit of, of salt into this. It's gonna simmer for about another 15 minutes or so. So while that's simmering, you can prepare the rest of your dish. Well, basically you're just taking the rest of your Parmesan cheese and you're gonna mix it with some eggs. So we've got like a half a cup of Parmesan cheese there. I'm gonna crack three eggs. And my mom, whenever I ask her, I'm like, how much do you use? Like, let's I mean, every time they change it, they're like, you need more egg in there, you need more cheese in there. It's like an argument, which I like to stay out of. Just whisk these guys up. You can see this is a lot of cheese in this dish, a lot of Parmesan cheese. We don't fuck around with cheese in Italian families. Like, I don't think I ever have a meal that doesn't have Parmesan cheese on the table. So I'm gonna turn this down, actually. I don't want it really boiling, because this the tricky part about this now is like adding the raw eggs into this. You're just gonna kind of drizzle it through there. If you add it in all at once in one spot, it might just be like a clump of egg, and you want it to kind of be in there all spread throughout. There we have it. This is... Good to go. And you, we usually add the egg and the cheese in right before you're serving it. I actually could have put more cheese into it. See, this is where my family will argue and be like, you need more Parmesan in there. More cheese on top. Man, it's fucking hot. <laughs> it's too hot. Guys, stop trying to make me burn my fucking mouth all the time. 
Mm, nom, 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 nom. I'm gonna call Teresa. Teresa's my mom. Are you there, Teresa? I am. I'm at Bridge. Mom, guess what? I'm on a video right now for Munchies, and we just made Italian wedding soup. Oh, wonderful! Is it good? Can it's. You taste it? I, I'm eating it right now. You're on camera oh. with me. Everyone's here watching us. I am. Oh, I'm exciting. <laughs> I think yes. I, I think I put not enough cheese in it. You know when you mix the egg and the cheese, I feel like I yes. should have put more cheese in. I put a lot of cheese. Yeah. I know. You can't I, put too much. You yeah. can't put too much. I hope that your bridge is as blessed as this soup. Oh, aren't you sweet? Love you. Bye. He's so happy. <laughs> She's probably gonna go literally off and like talk to all her bridge friends and be like, guess who that was. When you get down to the end of your soup, my mom and I will cheers across the table to each other and then just finish it like that. It's the best way. So, cheers.